This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. This is Atoli. Hello. Ow, my finger! Jack! Why did you do that? Ah, I didn't expect it to be that sharp. Barely touched it, jeez. This is Valerian steel. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife, it's extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Mmm. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. This is So you want to bet she has a blood fetish? This is going to be both mostly creepy. Mhm. Mm wee bit hot. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm if you're squeamish, I can go wash it off right now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. P please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri! <laughs> That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... Sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She does not lift her head. Oh crap, what if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her f index finger in return. Jack! D did you really just do that? Now we're even. I'm not gonna lie, that, 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 that I think actually was a smooth move. It was. Mm. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I, I, God, I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Jack. <laughs> Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. Um, you know, I don't think I need one. It was just a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. How many poems do we write? Three? Three? Okay, I was just thinking, because I was like, if we had done five, I was going to say, are all the words the ones we picked for the uh, oh, poems? Oh, maybe, But yeah. we've only done three, so... Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. Uh, one of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Wait, we need six cups for each tablet? I think six cups because there's six tablets. Oh, I was going to say, that's a lot that's of water. That's a, a very weird way to 
watercolor paint though in my because like that's gonna really i mean i guess if you want it to be very translucent well, maybe colors, they're really big tablets maybe mm. i don't know oh of course i'll go get them six cups of water i'll be right back in a minute thank you very much now i can search your drawer i was gonna say she's gonna do something oh and just a little bit of water okay okay that makes more sense if you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Oh, she doesn't mean actual. Well, right, they use metric. In Japan. No, she means, like, six individual cups. Yeah. With a little bit of water in them, and then they're gonna put... Yeah, the yeah, I know, but she didn't mean literally six cups of water, like, a measurement. Oh, no, I thought he was gonna get six full cups of water, though, and I was sitting there going, that's gonna be really, like, transparent water colors. See, you thought that? I thought measurement. Ah. Six cups no. of water. No, no. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than the full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, and then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Okay, she's still dressed. Wasn't sure where that was going. <laughs> I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back to cover her arm. Oh, Just, God. just, no. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. I'm sorry, is it too hot in here? Should I turn the AC up? Uh... No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. <sighs> I'm gonna say this, my, uh, my concerns from before are still not going away. <laughs> Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for the sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! What are you gonna write? Well... I, it will be more fun to surprise you. You know what, Yuri? Yeah? No. I don't think it will be more fun to surprise me. Yeah? Let's, let's figure it out right now. <laughs> yeah? That's a good idea. <laughs> if you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. Oh man, this kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, 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 I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me? I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Girl, I feel you. Even, I, I legit do. <laughs> even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and the video games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ow. Bonk. Yeah. S sorry She reels back, and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. That's not your fault. Oh, uh, your face. There's a droplet of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. 
Ah, oh, sorry, it's my fault. Uh, I'll go get a towel. Stop leaving the room, you son of a bitch! I rush out and fetch a small towel, and I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Aww. It's a... Kind of a derp face. It's kind of a derp face. Is her neck a weird color? Yeah, I think that's just supposed to be shading, though. Okay. Not here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Uh, Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Stop blinking at us. It's an in I'm, re I'm staring, like, right at the dialogue, so I haven't even noticed. <laughs> it's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in the daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. Boy, boy, listen. I understand, boy. <laughs> I completely understand, but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We really gotta deal with the Sayori thing. It's not the time. It's not responsible. It's just not good for anybody. Nope. Like, you need to be a professional. It's true. It's true. Oh boy. If it gives us a choice to kiss, we don't kiss. Okay. Depending on the circumstance. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Oh no, we're gonna be... We're drugged. We're drugged. Yuri gently fing- gentle- gen bleh. Yuri's. Her gentle fingers, wrapped around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. No! Uh. She slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine! The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. Oh no. You know why she's- I know why she's lightheaded. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Weird transition. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. So are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. Mm, that's true, but isn't that going to take a while? Well... Perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the our event starts. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Also, she doesn't want us to read it, so... Wonderful. In that case... Is it just going to be a giant declaration of love? Maybe? I'm thinking so. Possibly. I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. I agree. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. I am a little. I Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Oh, no, 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 it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. Yuri, where's your right arm? Behind her back? Yeah, but... Like it's always been? No, she's brought it forward to clutch at her chest when she's done this before. She sometimes just does it with the one. Is it sometimes she? only the one? I think it's sometimes okay, only Okay, I haven't I haven't noticed that. I have definitely seen her use both. I have definitely seen her use both too, and now I'm questioning myself. Okay. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. Are you eating raccoon? So you don't have any time left then. I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. 
Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I... I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Oh, that's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. Shit. I mean, I've said shit a lot in this series, but I feel like we're getting closer to that, that being <laughs> right. <laughs> I understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. No, it doesn't. That is, that is mature thinking. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. She fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Don't wait. You definitely weren't thinking. Definitely not thinking. Kinda said that without thinking. About today. It's it's okay that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because, you know, we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over, or we can go out. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out. Um, hmm. As I stumbled over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Jack. Yuri takes a step closer to me. Then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh my Whoa! god! Whoa! Whoa, girl! Zoom and enhance! <laughs> I forgot the music stop too. Damn it! Oh shit! I kind of like that about you. You have tiny hands. Look at the size of her. No, hand. her. I, I've noticed. It's it. They all have tiny hands. I don't know what it is about like okay. visual novels, but none of them have normal sized hands. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to respond to this? I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Oh, shh. So, so Yuri. Uh, hi, Jack. Oh, no. Calm down, it'll be fine. We'll get through this. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Sayori. It wasn't. We weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Jack. I just stopped by to say hi! Um... Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. Sayori pulls a knife and just guts her. I'm sorry. But we'll be able to be all together tomorrow at the festival, right? So that's, that's okay. Of course! I'm still questioning that <clears throat> right arm. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm good now. I'm good now. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> Curly embarrassed, Yuri just slides out of frame. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well... I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come out here and see it for myself. Wait, see what? What are you talking about? Y you know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me... Aww. Really, really happy. No! Look at the eyes. That you've made such good friends. Look at the eyes. I see them. I see her tears. <clears throat> That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's... All that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Jack? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Jack. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just 
Wait, Wait what? what? <laughs> Monica. Monica was right about what? Mm. Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Is Monica trying to get these girls to kill themselves? I think she might be now. What a bitch. Okay. Theory of the day. Uh-huh. Monica knows that they're in a video game. Mm-hmm. She's trying to escape. Mm-hmm. She thinks maybe in this dating visual novel that she's stuck in, mm -hmm. if she just grinds it off the rails by having them kill themselves, somehow she'll be free. Okay. That's my new theory. Okay. If you ever watch TV with me, folks, by the way, I have at least three theories for episode where the show is going. It's true. He, he really does. Sorry. <laughs> it annoys the hell out of her. It doesn't. I am not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime... I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... I... She looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Jack. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and I started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Jack. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I feel like Natsuki's gonna walk in. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? That's kind of dickish. That is. Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, she nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. Don't. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Oh, fuck. Save. <sighs> fuck. I don't know what to pick here. I don't like these choices! Fuck. Okay. Let's walk through this. Uh-huh. I'm gonna try and apply, like, real-world practical, lo like, logic to this, and that is probably not the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Why are we tempted to say I love you? We're not tempted to say I love you because we love her. We're tempted to say I love you because... That's what she needs to hear so that she doesn't kill herself? We don't know that she will kill herself. She said she wanted to die. I, I know that, Atoli. But it's not the responsibility of somebody else to lie to her. I know. To... No, my inclination is to tell her that she'll always be our dearest friend, but I'm worried that that is not what the game wants us to tell her. Because the game is still at this point, despite all of the very, like, clearly these girls are depressed and, like, doing things to themselves that they shouldn't be doing. Here's the thing. We picked Yuri. We did. To be true to ourselves, I feel like we should go with Yuri. I feel like lying to Sayori <sighs> yeah. is only going to be worse in the long run if you apply practical reason to it. I know it's a dating sim. <laughs> I know. But it's also a very fucking smart dating sim, unfortunately. It really is. Because I will be honest. Mm -hmm. I want to say I love you. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to say mm -hmm. in the situation. Mm -hmm. I want to give her that right but i man game it's 
you're really good at guilt tripping. God, people, game. You? God. The feels. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go with "You'll always be my dearest friend." We saved, right? Yeah, I saved. Okay. I'll double check. Yes. Yeah, I saved. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just do it. Ugh. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult things right now. Feelings. Some difficult feelings. Difficult feelings right now. But... Please trust me that I know what's best, and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. <sighs> Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? As someone who's been in that situation, Sayori, at about your age... No, because I, I... No, it's not actually what it feels like to be stabbed in the chest. But <laughs> it does fucking hurt, though. I should write a poem about this. Yes, you should, but Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiest, happiness down that path. That's why I came here. So I could just get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing? You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now, you really do know me better than anyone, Jack. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Her smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I really don't know how to react. Mm. She looks over her shoulder, flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of the house. Man. I know, but I f here's the thing. Uh-huh. For all we know, uh -huh. she would call us out on lying. On the other hand, you could even argue... Cause here's the oh, God I damn it, game! I know, I know, um, I know. I don't actually... So here's the thing, though. I don't think there's a right choice with this. I don't think so either. But it's also like, you know, we could say we love her. Uh-huh. Doesn't have to mean it's romantic love. Yeah. Let's just let's just go. We made our choice. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because we're afraid she's going to die. There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. I actually understand them a lot. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Listen, until we know something bad has happened, mm -hmm. it may still be the good thing yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. So... Maybe the whole point is of this game is that we can't pick all of them. Well, no, of course we can't. Well, no, I know, but like, because like Monica knows that she's in a game, right? Or at least that's our oh, theory. so like maybe the maybe the correct the correct way to play is, is to not do any of is them. Is not to get romance with any. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but she isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it up to take with me. 
She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so that I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. No, with Sayori, not Yuri, you made a promise. Mm -hmm. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great. Jack! You are the first one here. Thanks for being early! That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared... They must be the ones she prepared that has all the... Poems we're performing. Well, that sentence doesn't quite sound right to me. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'm performing. I'm really surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days like like this that are this important, she'd try a little harder. Was it, wait, was that Monica or me? That was you. Oh yeah, I was like, dude, why are you saying that? Remember what she just fucking said? Don't do that. I think it was you saying that. Yeah. No, that, yeah, that was definitely you. Dude, you know that, like, you, not, not, you literally just found out. Come on, don't be a dick. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up. Yeah, you should have. You really should have. It was a choice game. Uh, <laughs> you should take a little more responsibility for her, Jack. Yeah. I mean, especially after you exchanged what... After your exchange with, with her, her yesterday. yesterday. Wait, what? How do you... Monica... Monica! And we're talking online. Oh, right. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange. Monica, you know about that. Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. Okay, I feel like the game is trying to allude that it's weird, but they literally did say they were talking online. Yeah, but so. the exchange at the end happened, I assume, after they were done. I guess. It's always possible she talked to her, though. I stammer, embarrassed. D Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? Oh man, that really makes me seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? No! No, you fucking don't! Well, but here's the thing. No, it is not our responsibility to know what's best for her. But at the same time, we know we shouldn't lie to her. Right. We shouldn't lead her on. Yeah. And we I don't should... know, the way he keeps saying that, though, seems really just like... Well, that's how he feels, though, which is wrong, but... I guess. Oh, jeez. Listen, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill run down my spine hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? Sure. They came out really nice. Sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Huh. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they perform during practice. Ah, oh, what's this? It flipped to Sayori's poem. Oh, God. It's different from the one she practiced. One that I haven't read before. Fuck. I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Percentage. Percentage. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Okay, hold on. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is, is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Are we in her head, or is Monica? I think Monica is. 
Monica told her, like, she implied in the day before when we were talking yeah. to her outside, before we told her that she would be our dearest friend, that Monica had told her to kill herself. Wait, did she, wait, what? There was a point in the last episode. Did she say to kill herself? She, she let no, it No, 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 she did not say that. She trailed off and she said, maybe I should just do what Monica said. That could be confess, but I'm kind of getting a sinister nature for Monica, so I would not put it past her to say that she's trying to get these girls to... Yeah, we, no, we, we don't, don't know that. We don't know that's what she told her. No. But this really screams that! What's the percentage sign mean? Uh... What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Jack? What's wrong? You've seen the fucking poem, right? Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that... I- I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for this episode. We will be back on Monday. Um... I am so concerned about these girls right now. Like, this is not cool. This game is great, but not cool. Yeah. Um, I've been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Benatoli. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.